Hi! I'm back. Anyway, I thought I'd pop in a time or two just to make sure, again, that you guys are paying attention. Anyway, I'll see you guys soon. Well, welcome to this video. Today we are going to talk about congruence and overlapping triangles. And we're specifically going to prove that two triangles are congruent using other congruent triangles. Let's go ahead and jump right in and we're going to dive in with a proof. Well, first of all, we're trying to prove that triangle TPQ is congruent to triangle RPV. And let's start with marking our given information. Angle T is congruent to angle R, so I've marked these with the green arcs. And segment PQ is congruent to segment PV. Well, you know what? This is just really confusing. To me, it just looks like a lot of lines, things overlapping each other. Well, the easiest thing to do when you have triangles that are overlapping is actually to redraw them and separate them. So the first thing that I'm going to do, ha <laughs> again, anyway, I just want to make sure you guys are paying attention because this can be a little bit tricky. All right, back to the video. What I've done is I've retraced the triangles that I'm trying to prove are congruent in blue and red. Well, this makes it a little bit easier, except it's still kind of confusing. So now that I've uh, retraced them in the different colors, I'm actually going to redraw them and separate them. So I've redrawn the blue triangle and I've included the congruent symbols. And now I'm going to redraw the red one again, including the proper congruent marks. And this already is looking like it's a lot easier, except that I only have two things. That is not enough to prove these triangles are congruent. Well, let's look back at the triangles we're trying to prove are congruent. Well, let's look at the order of the letters. Well, I have a P in the middle here, and I have a P in the middle here. That's a clue that I might have some overlapping parts because, again, I have the same letter in the same spot. Well, let's look back. You can see here that the blue and the red clearly overlap each other. So angle P is the same for the blue triangle as it is for the red triangle. So when I have two triangles that overlap each other, then I most likely have some congruent parts. In this case, angle P is congruent to angle P, and that should just be very clear by looking at it. Well, let's go ahead and put everything we need in our proof now. We have our given information. Angle T is congruent to angle R, and segment PQ is congruent to segment PV. Now we're going to add that angle P is congruent to angle P, and that would be reflexive. And I've added the markings here so that it really jumps out at me and it's very clear. It should jump out at you now. We have an angle, angle, and a side. So yes, so I need to add into my proof angle P is congruent to angle P, and that would be the reflexive POC. Now I have everything I need. Triangle TPQ is congruent to triangle RPV, and that would be angle, angle, side. Well, this is the last video for this semester. I hope that they have really helped you guys. That was the intention. I've had a lot of fun making them, and you guys are all awesome. Every period I have this year rocks. Anyway, see you guys in class. Bye.